Hello, everyone, and welcome to this edition of Sports Desk. I'm Mark Jones, along with Gino Retta. We're glad you came along on this edition of Sports Desk. It's just another manic Monday here on TSN. Baseball highlights and tennis highlights from the U.S. Open coming up. And the Calgary Stampeders try to stamp all over the Hamilton Tiger Cats in CFL action. And the NFL Players Union is busy off the field and in the courts. But Mark, we get things started off in little NHL news. Yeah, you know, Gino, when you think of Lanny McDonald, you automatically help, uh, can't help but thinking about his mustache, the bushy mustache, maybe the most famous mustache in sports. McDonald has had a very complete career in the NHL, capped by winning the Stanley Cup this past season. McDonald is also one of the most charitable athletes you'll ever meet. Well, fans and athletes alike will miss Lanny McDonald. He announced his retirement tonight in Calgary. Teresa Hergert has the story. It was a tearful and emotional Lanny McDonald who finally said goodbye to 16 seasons in the NHL. Two large tents had been set up in McDonald's backyard as over 100 people gathered to pay tribute to the man who had given so much to the sport and the Calgary Flames. My decision to retire from hockey. <laughs> I could never say that word anyway. <laughs> was not one that I took lightly or made easily. But one Ardell <coughs> and I made before the beginning of the 88-89 hockey season. And that's why this season will always hold some of the fondest memories and some of the darkest moments. For two years, people had speculated when Lanny would decide to step off the ice. As he sat with his family, he remembered some advice a close friend had given him. Be true to yourself. Don't let anyone else tell you when to retire. You'll know in your own heart. Well, Winston, <laughs> that day is here, and I thank you for great advice. After Lanny had said goodbye, General Manager Cliff Fletcher announced that McDonald would stay with the Flames and move upstairs into the executive offices. As I'm very proud to announce at this moment the appointment of Lanny McDonald as Vice President of Corporate and Community Relations for the Calgary Flames. All right. All right. McDonald's locker is now empty except for a beat up pair of gloves. But looking back on his colorful and successful career, Lanny couldn't have wrote a better ending. I can only thank uh, the good Lord that uh, he saw fit uh, to write the kind of ending that I wanted to write. Lanny's first role as Vice President of Corporate and Community Relations will begin next week when he'll travel to the Soviet Union with the team. Then it's back to Calgary where plans have already been made to honor the jersey that he wore with the Flames. Number nine will officially be retired in the upcoming season. Well, it's only fair that Lanny McDonald capped off his illustrious career with the Stanley Cup this past season. 16 seasons in all. By McDonald, 1,111 games played, 500 goals to 500 coming late in the season in the Saddle Dome. 1,006 points and four times on the All-Star team. He's checked by Potvac. Now Turnbull clears it ahead to McDonald. McDonald ready and 64! McDonald wins it! The Leafs win it! And the Leafs win it! 